Hi, I'm Aubrey from Biorad Laboratories, and I'm here to talk to you about the D100 hemoglobin testing system. I want to show you how you can get more done with the D100's efficient workflow. First thing we'll talk about is the D100 analytical cartridge. The cartridge holds the HPLC column where the hemoglobin separation occurred. This little cartridge is good for 10,000 tests, so you really don't have to change this very often. But when you do, it's a very simple operation. You open the cartridge holder door, snap it into place, and close the door. When you close the door, the system will read an RFID tag that's embedded on the front of the cartridge. That will transmit all of the necessary lot number, expiration, and test parameters, which you can see here. So there's no need for the operator to enter anything manually, and you get full traceability. Once you've installed the cartridge, you need to calibrate. Calibration is done using the calibrator pack. You only have to use this one time per cartridge. So again, not something you have to do very often. The calibrator pack has a barcode on the front. And on the back, you can see that it's actually three vials. The first is a conditioner, which prepares the cartridge for running. And the next two are calibrators level one and two. It comes lyophilized. But again, there's nothing for the operator to do here because the D100 is going to reconstitute it for you. All you have to do is load the calibrator pack on the stat area, touch load on the screen, the system will read the barcodes, and then all the operator has to do is touch calibrate now, and it will begin the calibration process automatically. So again, these are things you don't have to do very often. What you do have to do often is run your patient samples. So to do that, you load your patient samples into a rack. There's no need to do any sample preparation because the D100 will do all of the preparation for you. You don't need to orient the barcode in the rack because the D100 will do that too. All you need to do is load your, your patient samples in the input area and touch run on the touch screen. With that, all of the necessary operations that need to happen to prepare the system to run will happen without any user intervention. You're just off and running. During the run, should you need to change any of the reagents, you can do it without stopping the system. Here's an example of a D100 buffer bottle. This is buffer B. And notice it also has an RFID tag. Again, transmitting all of the necessary test parameters to the D100 automatically. All you do is open the reagent compartment on the front, snap it into place, and close the door. That's it. Now let's talk about maintenance. For the D100, there is no daily maintenance. All you have to do for maintenance is perform every 30,000 tests, the cleaning tube. To run the cleaning tube, you load it in the stat area and follow the on-screen prompts. The whole process takes about two minutes, and after the cleaning process is done, your system is clean and ready for operation. So thank you for joining me on this tour of the D100 hemoglobin testing system so that you can learn how to get more done with its efficient workflow.